Israel scattered abroad too. I want to say Shalom. And um, I'm going to get it straight to the point, man. This video I'm making, I'm going to title this video, Stop Being Emotional and Stop Being Lazy. This towards you, you, you Israelite, man. A lot of you guys, a lot of you guys like to use the Lord as a crutch and, a, and, a, and a, um, an excuse to not, you know, to not have your priorities straight. Meaning, like, you got guys, I heard I don't even want to work a job, man. Like, real shit, you, know, you got guys out here, grown-ass men that don't want to work, that don't want to do nothing, but sit here and talk about the kingdom and, and the Lord coming, but you're not doing nothing here right now. You know what I'm saying? Those are the same guys that be talking about, oh, the Lord could come anytime. We understand that the Lord could come anytime and stuff like that. We understand that, but my thing is, that doesn't mean to... uh uh uh. Empty your bank account, your cards, and just, you know what I'm saying? Go live in the woods or some dumb shit like that. Because you got guys that's really thinking like that. And, and y'all know better. Y'all know that's not what the scriptures is talking about. When it says, you know what I'm saying? Give your life to the Lord and all that. That don't mean, that don't mean give up your whole life and become a damn bum. Like I said, a lot of y'all just use that as an excuse. And y'all try to use the Lord as a crutch for excuses, man. That's all that it is. Y'all bums. Like I said, y'all bummer lights. Stop making excuses, man. And that's why a lot of y'all too, I think that's why a lot of y'all talk shit about, you know, these women a lot too, because a lot of y'all can't get women because you don't got a you don't got a damn job. You ain't doing nothing. Like I say, you can't sit here and talk about the kingdom and you gonna be a king on the throne and you ain't even doing nothing over here on this side. You ain't you ain't showing nothing. You know what I'm saying? That's that's crazy to me, man. Like I said, I'm 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 in my twenties, early twenties, and you got guys older than me, man. Older than me. Talking about they don't they don't want to work, they don't want to do this. Well, let's let's go into the scriptures. Since y'all believe in the scriptures, let's go into the scriptures and see what they say about laziness, man. So the first scripture I'm gonna grab is Proverbs ten and five. Hold on. Here we go. So this is Proverbs, Proverbs 10 and 5. It says, he that gather, gathereth in summer is a wise son, but he that sleepeth in harvest is a son that causeth shame. Why he causeth shame? Because he's lazy. He's lazy. That's why. The Lord's against that. Yo, yo that, that doctor y'all got out there talking about some, oh, the Lord, no, the Lord's coming back. You know, the Lord come back any day. So just, just become a bum. Just be a bum ass nigga. No, no, that's not what the scriptures say. Come on, man. Hell's wrong with you guys. And, and also you got guys out here that have multiple wives. And the nigga don't work. But all the females work, right? And they give they give this man all their checks. That's not biblical neither. I'm just saying that shit ain't biblical, man. That's like I said, y'all, 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 y'all like to use these scriptures and twist them into some wicked shit, man. What scriptures say you can sit, you can sit and be a damn bum while while your women work and give and, and they give you all the money? I ain't never read no no scripture where any of our ancestors did that shit, or any of our ancestors didn't do, didn't you know what I'm saying? Had their priorities straight, man. I said you niggas is lazy as fuck, man. And if y'all don't like me cussing, oh well, man. I'm pissed off. Because you niggas is, y'all, a lot of you guys is clowns in Israel, man. A lot of y'all clowns. And then on top of it, I was showing brothers some videos. Posted some videos on my social media. And you guys always come in scoffing, talking shit. And then and this, the crazy part is, too, like, y'all don't even watch the whole videos before y'all talk shit. That's why. That's another reason why I don't like y'all niggas, man. That's why I don't deal with Israel like that. I only deal with a, 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 a small, small amount of people, man. Cause a lot of y'all fake too. But I don't want to rant too long on that. I don't. Let me go to the next scripture. It's going to be um Proverbs twelve and um twelve. I 
think it's 12 and um 24. All right, this is Proverbs 12 and 24. It says, the hand of the diligent shall bear rule, right? Because you guys always talking about, oh, oh, I'm being a king, man. I'm be a, you're going to be a king, right? I mean, on this side, man, you should be showing that now. You know what I'm saying? You're supposed to be a light unto the nations, right? Not being no lazy ass bumps and scam artists. You know what I'm saying? So let me read this again. It says, The hand of the diligent shall bear rule, but the slothful shall be under tribute. Come on, man. Let's go to uh that was scripture, man. This is scripture and um you know what? No, this is another one in Proverbs, man. Another one. Proverbs twenty. I'm remembering. It says the Proverbs 20 and 4 says the slugger will not plow by reason of cold, therefore shall he beg and harvest and have nothing. Cause you why? Because you lazy. Plain and simple. You can't you can't be a damn bum in the truth and then be talking about, oh, I'm gonna be a king in the kingdom. You gotta earn that. What the hell? All right, let me um another one. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go to the New Testament now. Matter of fact, hold on. Did I skip one? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Proverbs um thirteen, man. There's another one. This says Proverbs thirteen and four. It says the soul of the slugger desireth, right? And have nothing. And that's crazy because, like I said, I know per I know people personally, like I said, the soul of the slugger, they desire and have nothing. They be wishing, talking about the kingdom, this, the kingdom, I'm going to be a king, I'm going to be doing this, I'm going to be in these heathens. And that's another thing too. Stop worrying about what the heathens is doing and worry about your own self. Like it says in Philippians 2 and 12, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling, man. Stop worrying about everybody else. As a matter of fact, there's another scripture too. Yeah, it is another scripture. Proverbs. Stay in Proverbs for a little bit. Proverbs 6 and 6. That's the scripture. Watch this. I, I, let, me, let me read this first, man. Let me read this. Proverbs 6 and 6. It says, go to the ant, thou sluggard. Consider her ways and be wise. Come on, man. You even tell you lazy niggas to go to the damn, go to the, go to the ants and see how they put in work. Do you, I never seen a lazy ant in my life. I ain't never seen a lazy, shit, I ain't never seen a lazy, uh, no, no type of insect or, or animals because the animals are set up to do certain things. You know what I'm saying? Like you got like bears and they gather food for the hibernation and all that, right? They're not going to miss out on that because that's, the Lord set them up to do that. Like what's wrong with you niggas? Why you niggas don't want to work and shit? You niggas don't want nothing. You y'all y'all want to settle for less here and then bitch and complain because you, you're not applying yourself like you're supposed to. But you want to keep bitching and crying and complaining. Like personally, like shit is hard, but it's not that hard, man. It's not that hard. Like y'all try to make it seem like, man, for real, it's really not. Like I said, a lot of y'all just lazy and y'all y'all bitch way too much, man. All the answers is in the scriptures. But like I say, y'all too lazy. Y'all don't even read that. A lot of y'all don't even read the scriptures, man. A lot of y'all just claim to be Israelites. Um. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Another one. Proverbs 19. And Proverbs 19. Proverbs 19 and um, um Proverbs 19 and 24 it says a slothful man hideth his hand in his bosom and will not so much as bring it to his mouth again. And also, hold on. I'm about to go to the New Testament now. And here's a scripture too, like, yo, you you Jake's man, you need to worry about yourself, man. 
y'all, 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 y'all keep trying to make it seem like we're wicked. Me and my brothers is wicked because we 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 talk about uh, getting money and stuff like that. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? What sin? What sin are we? What sin are we committing? You know what I'm saying? What sin are we committing? We ain't commit no sin. All we saying is don't settle for less than life. That's it. That's that's it. And don't be a damn bum either, man. Cause a lot of you guys are bums. Plain and simple. And that's why y'all complaining and bitching and crying. Cause you don't have no money, you don't have nothing. Cause you, you ain't applying shit. Um <clears throat> let me go to the New Testament, man. Excuse me. Timothy. Go to uh yeah, first Timothy. All right, let's just five and eight. This is for all you bums, for all you bum Israelites off, you bum lights who think you ain't supposed to work. And also for you, you camp leaders, because I'll be watching y'all too. You camp leaders who say, uh, oh, we don't have to work. We're doing the work of the Lord. Oh, y'all supposed to send us money. Nobody's supposed to send you shit. You supposed to get your ass up and work. Fuck, no matter how I see you nothing. Now, y'all can send people donations, but they shouldn't be demanding you to send them money. Straight up. They ain't no different from the church on Sunday. Nobody should be demanding no money from you. And really, the types was like for the Levites and stuff like that, man. And also the rich Israelites. You know what I'm saying? They gave the most. When you read the scriptures. But um, let's read the scripture in First Tim- Timothy. Um, Five and eight, right? It says, But if any provide not for his own house, and, and especially for those of his his own house, he had denied the faith and is worse than an infidel, an un, a unbeliever. So if you don't provide for your it, it says if you don't provide for your own or your own household, you an infidel. You worse than the infidel, matter of fact. That's what it says. So so what about that scripture? Cause I ain't never I ain't never seen none of y'all bring that out either. That first Timothy five and eight. Cause I hear a lot of you camps too so talking about the uh leave your kids and your wife. You know? Leave your kids and your wife. Where where where's that at in the Bible, man? That's nowhere in the Bible. Like I said, these same guys that say that are the same guys that tell you to give them money. Send us money. Or they tell you you wicked for not sending them money. You ain't helping out the brotherhood. Why? Because they ain't sending your, your, your fat, lazy ass no money. That's crazy, man. And y'all fall for that shit. Because like I said, a lot of you people that follow these guys, y'all don't read the Bible yourself. Y'all, y'all regurgitate what they tell you. Y'all parrots, man. Y'all regurgitate because y'all fucking lazy, man. And y'all don't read on your own. That's why I don't deal with y'all like that. Because I know y'all be, y'all be playing around with the Lord, man. Y'all keep following men instead of the most high. So like the scripture says in 1 Timothy 5 and 8, man, you lazy ass bum niggas, y'all are worse than the infidels, man. And this, you can have another scripture, man. This might be my last scripture. It's in um, it's like the Thessalonians. Oh, also, matter of fact, I'll go to that. Here's another scripture I want to bring out. This is an um second as it is an apocrypha, nine and one, and that goes into uh, what was it? Uh, second as it is nine and um thirteen. Okay, let's read that real quick. Cause this is for you Israelites, y'all always like I said, Israel's problem is y'all worried about the other nations and everybody else. Worry about your damn self. Get yourself in order. That's what you're supposed to do as people. Get ourselves in order as individuals. Because I'm not coming together with a bunch of you niggas and, and, and y'all niggas argue over the, the the littlest things, man. It could be it could be a, a, a boat in a video, like brothers on a boat. On a, in, a, in a video I posted and you niggas start bitching and crying about that. You niggas is far founders, man. You no, 
know, but if it's not if it's not y'all doctrine or what y'all believe, then you know they're not with you. That's that's what y'all say. But like I said, we don't give a shit. And another thing for the record, for you guys too, they be talking about we we be clout chasing or something, or we be trying to look for a, a, a attention and all that. Yo, sit your ass down, man. Nobody 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 cares about none of that. That's how I know. That's how we know. Like y'all, y'all world, y'all worldly as hell too. Because y'all talking about clout chasing. Man. What is clout? What is that? We don't, we don't do that, man. That's some cornball shit. I keep telling y'all that. Like nobody does nothing for y'all attention, man. Anyway, <laughs> let me read this and um, second as it is, nine and um. 13, because I, like I said, you, you Israelites need to focus on yourself. Philippians 2 and 12, man. Read that. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Stop worrying about everybody else. So let's read this. It says, and therefore, be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished. Right? It says, be not thou curious how they should be punished. For all you guys out there talking about, oh, I can't wait to do this and this and that. And to the heathen and all that. And wishing death on other Israelites and all that. That's the scriptures tell you not to do that. Worry about your fucking self. First of all, y'all don't even know if y'all gonna make it. That's the thing. We hoping we make it. So for for real, for real, y'all should be shutting the hell up and focusing on yourself. Damn, like, oh yo, 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 y'all niggas is hard headed, man. Anyway, let me read the rest of it. Let me read the rest of this. It says, I'm gonna read it back. And therefore be thou not curious. How the ungodly shall be punished, and when? Cause y'all always do that. But inquire how the righteous shall be saved, whose the world is, and for whom the world is created. That's the talking about the elect, the, the Israelites. That's what you swear about salvation. Y'all be talking death. Yahweh Shah's life, man, not death. All right. Um. Here's a scripture, and this. And this this is probably my last scripture. Matter of fact, no, it's not. Second Thessalonians is. Um, but this scripture, man, I want—I have to bring this out. Um, um, first scripture. It says Sarak. Hold on, let me. Sarak. I think it's thirty-two. Hold on, let me see. And, um, 17. There we go. Yeah, I know it's that. All right. So this is Ecclesiasticus. Or you can say Sarak, right? This is the apographer and the apographer, KJV. All right, it says... This is for you guys that make excuses, man. I'm going to say Sarak 32 and um, 17. It says, A sinful man will not be reproved, but findeth an excuse according to his will. That's what a lot of y'all do. You find a fucking excuses all the time to your own will. And then you want to try to use the Lord as a crutch. Stop doing that shit, man. For real. All right, let's go to Thessalonians. I'm, I'm, I'm done. Here we go. That's my last scripture, y'all. All right, this is second. Yeah, second Thessalonians three and ten. It says, "For even when we were with you, this we commanded you that if any would not work, neither should he eat." So, like I said, man, you got all these scriptures that speak against what the hell y'all be talking about. You bum ass niggas, man. I'm sorry, but y'all, a lot of y'all bums. And y'all try to justify it. Like, you ain't no justifying that, man. Scripture speak to, against laziness, man. Straight up. And y'all ain't all y'all complaining too. Keep worrying about everybody else. See, that's the problem. Like y'all y'all so worried about everybody else. You worrying about everybody else's boat, but your shit is sinking. Worry about your shit, man. Everybody else growing but you because you worrying about what the fuck this person doing or you wishing death on this person. Worry about your shit, man. Worry about you. 
We're about your salvation, your household, brother. Hell. But you know, that's that's all I wanted to really bring out. And like I said, this video, I'm gonna definitely, yeah, I'm gonna definitely title it Stop Being Emotional and Stop Being Lazy, man. You Israelites, man. A lot of you guys, man. Because like a lot of y'all becoming but Pathetic as hell, man, for me, man, for real. For real, I don't even take y'all serious no more, to be honest. I really don't. Because, like, I, only difference between a lot of y'all and, and, and niggas in the world is, is y'all know y'all Israelites. Anyway, man, I'm going to just give all praises and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. Shalom to all the Israelites, man. The Israelites that are actually, you know what I'm saying, actually struggling out here, man. And not willingly out here being fucking lazy. You Israelites are actually going through stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? There's people going through way worse than a lot of you guys that's bitching and complaining. I'm just saying. You got Israelites in other countries starving and shit like that. And y'all bitching, talking about, this is the hardest captivity. Shut the hell up, man. Shut up. Just shut up. Stop crying and bitching, man. Especially you, Judite. Stop crying and bitching. Shut up. Damn, man. Just grind, man. Do what the Lord told you to do. Keep the commandments, man. You're supposed to be doing. Work out your own salvation with fair and trembling, man. Keep and get your house in order. Stop worrying about everybody else. So, with that, man, Shalom, man. And also, yeah, we love y'all. We love y'all. Love.